Right, okay, so that's the building together. It's still glowing nicely. Um, let's get a bit closer because we're going to take a look at this in a minute. Uh, so what we need to do now is while this is glowing, we're going to go ahead and work on the actual the actual sort of pyramid roof structure. And it's not as quite as easy as when you actually have like um, like your apex sort of section. Um, but I want this to look a little bit better than just like a straight form apex. Um, so it's, it is easy enough to do and all you need to do is you need to work out where the point, the top point of your building is going to be and how I do that is I actually put in, a, put in a ruler and then I work out roughly on how high I want my roof to be so in this case, in this instance I want my roof to be 7 inches so we already know that the, build, the wall of the building is actually 4.5 four four inches and we want it to be 7 so basically we, we've got a space of 2.5 inches that's normally on how big I make my apexes on my actual buildings anyway. Um, so with this two and a half inches, that's going to be the actual top point of our our building. So when I'm actually drawing these points out, what I'm actually going to do is I'm actually going to use my seven inch mark. Um, sorry, the the distance between the seven and four point five, which is two and a half, as the actual this sort of section of the building. Um, now this doesn't actually always work so there's a, there is a really really easy simple way to do it and I'm going to set this up right now and show you how to do it. So as you see here what I've done is I've gone ahead and I've gone and set up like a little jig um, over the top of the building and all I've just used is just used string and I've pulled it taut and I've used a couple of dressmaking pins um, so we can actually get the midpoint of the building because we need this, this is important, this is really really important when doing an actual the actual pyramid part of your building and um, some people can do this straight off the cuff and don't have a single problem with it and that's fine that really is and um, some people struggle and um, I can do this straight off of the cuff I pretty much know that I want from there to there so I could do like a wee rough measurement I could put that up there I could go ah right four inches and I pretty much know that all the way around that um, it's all going to meet in the middle and I'm going to have like quite a nice little spire on top uh, but for those of you that don't actually know how to do it, this is going to be like quite interesting for you to actually work out how, how we go about doing this. So, um, what we need is something that we can put down the middle. Um, something thin, a straw or something. I just ha happen to have a piece of dowel and we all, as you can see, I can put that right in the midpoint there. And I'll just push it slightly to take up the, the distance. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure 7 inches just on this piece of dowel and I'll use my black marker pen so we can all see it quite prominently so 7 inches I'm going to mark it there and I'm going to mark that all the way around and for ease later so that's our 7 inch 7 inch point so and what, I, what we're needing to do now is to put this back into the middle back to the central, see the black mark and what we're going to do is we're going to measure from this middle and we're going to measure up to that black mark right, see here right, building needs to be st sturdy so I can see that just there at slightly squint there I can see that and that is just roughly three and a half inches so mind what I was saying for about four inches, four inches would give us a, a steeper pitch, and um, up here would give us a steeper pitch, and that's what I normally do. So, what we're going to do is we're going to work work it on the actual four inch, the four inch part, just to give us a nice round number to work with. So we're going to work all of our build, all of our roof line to four inches, and that will give us um, a nice steep, a steep sort of point. So I'm going to go and set up and get ready for that, and I'll be back very soon soon yeah I'll be back very soon and you'll get to sort of see what we're doing right catch you in a minute guys well for me it'll be about 10 minutes for you at about six seconds right I'm not sure how well you're actually gonna see this um, I'm, I'm trying my best and um, I tried like a, a white um, marker pen and it didn't work very good um, 
what I really should have bought to do these tutorials is uh, maybe a Tipex pen so when I draw on black card that you can actually see it hopefully you'll like, this will actually come out better in the camera than it is actually in real light um, so what we've got, we know our walls are actually 5 inches so if we put this on here we know that this point here to that point there is 5 inches so and that's our midpoint so that's two and a half, half of five. And we know that we need to go up by four inches. So what we're going to do is, this is our midpoint, this is our end point. This is a midpoint, because obviously this is going to be our two, it's going to be two panels. So what we're going to do is I'm going to measure up four inches. Um, sorry if my head gets in the way. Um, but I'm going to measure up four inches. And I'm going to do the same here. And I'm going to do four. four inches here and I'm going to do four inches here and um, hopefully you've seen that and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to draw across all these lines um, and you'll see where this is going in in just a minute right so now it just looks like we've got a, a great big um, grid and um, as we don't need this piece so we'll neglect that piece we don't need that at all that's just going to be an off cut so what we're going to do is we're going to be working in here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this up to this point, to the midpoint, from here. So from here to here, there we go, and I'm going to take this from here to here. So there we go, so that's our first roof line. So now we're going to copy this again, and then I'm going to do it reverse on the other side. Um, obviously I'll need to remark this line because it's obviously about here somewhere and um, so I'll measure that and then I'll do that um, and then we'll then I'll come back to you when these are all drawn um, obviously this part here this can actually already be used as one because we've got one two three three pieces one two three so we need one more so I'll go ahead and I'll go and draw the next one Right, okay, so now we've got like this diamond pattern all over everywhere. Um, and now it's like, it's probably even quite confusing to look at. Um, I could actually maybe mount this up on the wall and use it as a piece of art if I painted it in different colours. But we're not, we're not, we're not looking into art today. So what we've actually got is we've got one, two, three, four, five, six sides of the house. Um, I'm going to change, I'm not going to actually use this part here because um, I've just been thinking about it. And I'm going to show you an even easier way to actually get these together. Um, instead of just stacking them up on their ends. Um, so what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to actually cut a tab like halfway up here and then I'm going to do this. I'm going to cut a little tab on every one of them. So we've got a gluing tab and I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to draw these in and I'll, I'll be back as soon as I've done that. <laughs> 